Many people are familiar with the term stupidville. Stupidville is a person who is not exactly stupid, but they choose to live in stupidville. They choose to believe that parts of their life are openly within their control and parts of their life are not within their control. The one part of Stupidville that most people who are American born and bred and foreigners especially who come into America to try to live until their end improving themselves or foolishly fooling themselves thinking they have rights here when they don't have any at all other than guest privileges. We have to talk about what is not only the life force of the Lord, but the walls that people face, not recognizing that they are not in charge of the Lord Most High at all. One of the humbling things as a pagan and as a priest and as a technically certified minister for me is that I see and have experienced and have felt and have perspective on that. What I have learned in the past five to ten years since a woman came into my life as a whirlwind, as a beauty queen, as a knockout, as a drama queen, as a frustrated housewife on the scene, is that openly most people do not realize that God knows everything, sees everything, and plans around the stupid things that human people do to mess up their life. If you're in the house of the Lord, then your angels will work marvelously over time, despite the fact that you tell them to fuck off in two languages on a regular basis, and they tolerate you for that because of how blasphemous it is. But openly, they do work to try to reset what the human beings of Satan do to ruin the plans that God has made for you and made for me. A stupid person, a stupid woman, a stupid president, a stupid vice president, a stupid administrator, a stupid teacher, a stupid trainer, a stupid accountant, a stupid musician, a stupid computer fixer fails to recognize that God is in control of me but may not be in control of you. You see, I live my life in the day-to-day moments of the beauty of God. And when God leads me somewhere, it's amazing how much magic I get. I also get told prophetic wisdom that says, don't worry, the money will come. It won't be a lot, but it will And by the way, would you mind getting up and moving to over here right now at this second in time and sitting down to rest your heart muscles that have been ruined by the bastard of Satan in the police force who thought they could play doctor on your life? And lo and behold, in the next couple minutes, a very generous man named Scott drives up and says, Here, have this on me. He has more money in his hand than he's offering, but I don't do anything other than accept what's in his giving fingertips not his retracted ones. And as a result, I have a marvelous dinner on him because I make my purchases regularly at the Dollar Tree. I love their company. I love their brands in which they have brought in with some pretty new girls who are in their buyer's ship in their purchasing department. And frankly, despite the fact that almost every company across America is reducing the size of their products, to make up for the downturn in the economy. And what it means for us in simple example is that that package of 10 or 12 ounces of cookies is now being replaced for the same dollar for 8 ounces. And that's not on you, and it's not on me. The liars of America like to play in and out of their company as if they belong here early in the morning. But the faggot man who's over-abusive of a person's technology stand is now leaving his company and walking through a parking lot. What for? because he's maybe no longer employed or because he's going across to talk to his boys who like to play games. But the concept of stupid deal is really our topic today, and I'm being distracted by a walker who's been a bastard in my life in every way. But let's just talk about this. That Staples employs people that are ill, will, illegal, and immoral. <clears throat> it's on their company, not mine, till they cross the line and delete things on my computer, on my life, trying to steal my intellectual property which comes from the house of the Lord. The one thing I want to teach Mama is that she's not in charge of God. So while I can mark my little ass across multiple parking lots through different ways of getting there, I can't promise that those curious things are going to be there. But what I want to say to you today in every way, no matter who you are as a listener to my day, that God is in control of everything. Every lesson He has planned may not get to you because you make a mistake and take your free will for granted. 
and you don't give your life back to the Lord. Stupidville is not returning to God's house every day to pray, and I am as guilty of that as others. I am ashamed every time God humbles me with his guidance, humbles me with his lessons, and humbles me with the reactions of strangers that are far superior to my own mother's, far better than my brother's, and far better than my sister's could ever be. The liars of America don't recognize God anymore. They lie to themselves and they lie to you and me. A liar in a community does a lot of damage. A liar in a family destroys a family. And a liar, marvelously not like me, is what people can be.